Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer. On Thursday the 11th of June, uh, great to have you join us. Uh, whether you've just kind of discovered us um, through some of our links off our websites uh, or through the Facebook or however you found us, it's great to have you join us for Morning Prayer. Uh, we use the Church of England app, or I do anyway, um, and it's just called Daily Prayer, uh, available on... Oh, hang on, we have, a, we have a visitor. Hang on a sec, we have a binge bean. Benjamin! Hello, are you coming up? No. Hello, what are you doing? No, he's off again. <laughs> what? But you can't see me, then he is here, honest. Hello, pussy! Are you coming up? Come in there. Come in. Hello! You're still out of shot. People think I'm just talking to a, a figure of my imagination. Oh, well, you're not a figure of my imagination, are you? Hello, Wilma. Are you coming to say hello on camera? Hello, are you coming up? Hey, baby. No, I bet you guys want the garden. <laughs> Bear with me. I'll, I'll be back. Hello. Uh, sorry about that. I think I was saying hello and good morning. Um, oh yes, so we use the uh, the daily prayer app uh, by the Church of England, if you wanna kind of join in. And I use it just as a very kind of broad framework uh, in leading us through morning prayer. So, let's just take a moment and start this day with God. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. There shall come forth a shoot from the stock of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see, or decide by what his ears hear. But with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. The wolf shall dwell with the lamb and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf, the lion and the fatling together with a little child to lead them. They shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain. For the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Now, now I've just led us through evening prayer. I do apologise. I'm going to quickly flick through to morning prayer. <laughs> That's never a great start. <laughs> I'll try that again. The night has passed. And the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So our psalm is 147, so 147. Alleluia. How good it is to make music for our God. How joyful to honour him with praise. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and gathers together the outcasts of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up all their wounds. He counts the numbers of the stars and calls them all by their names. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His wisdom is beyond all telling. The Lord lifts up the poor, but casts down the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make music to our God upon the lyre, who covers the heavens with clouds and prepares rain for the earth, who makes grass to grow upon the mountains and green plants to serve our needs. He gives the beasts their food and the young ravens when they cry. He takes no pleasure in the power of a horse, no delight in human strength. But the Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their trust in his steadfast love. 
Sing praise to the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates and has blessed your children within you. He has established peace in your borders and satisfies you with the finest wheat. He sends forth his command to the earth and his word runs very swiftly. He gives snow like wool and scatters the hoarfrost like ashes. He casts down his hailstones like morsels of bread. Who can endure his frost? He sends forth his word and melts them. He blows with his wind the water and the waters flow. He declares his word to Jacob, his statutes and judgments to Israel. He's not dealt so with and he has not dealt so with any other nation. They do not know his laws. Alleluia. Great is our Lord and mighty in power, compassionate God, as you know each star you have created. So you know the secrets of every heart. In your loving mercy, bring to your table all who are fearful and broken, all who are wounded and needy, that our hungers may be satisfied in the city of your peace, through Christ, who is our peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Wilma has rejoined us. I was expecting another interruption there, but she's laid down. You've, she's probably just off camera. I don't think you can see her from where you are. So our New Testament. Um, there it is, 1, 1 Corinthians. So we've moved away from the Gospels. Uh, 1 Corinthians 10, verses 1 to 17. I, don't, I do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, that our ancestors were all under the cloud, and all passed through the sea, and all were baptised into Moses in the cloud and in the sea, and all ate the same spiritual food, and all drank the same spiritual drink, for they drank from the spiritual rock that followed them, and the rock was Christ. Nevertheless, God was not pleased with most of them, and they were struck down in the wilderness. Now these things occurred as examples for us, so that we might, so that we might not desire evil as they did. Do not become idolaters as some of them did, as some of them did, as it is written. People sat down to eat and drink, and they rose up to play. We must not indulge in sexual immorality, as some of them did, and 23,000 fell in a single day. We must not put Christ to the test, as some of them did, and were destroyed by serpents. And do not complain, as some of them did, and were destroyed by the destroyer. These things happened to them to serve as an example, and they were written down to instruct us, on whom the ends of the ages have come. So... If you think you are standing, watch out that you do not fall. No testing has ever overtaken you that is not common to everyone. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tested beyond your strength. But with the testing, he will also provide the way out, so that you may be able to endure it. Therefore, my dear friends, flee from the worship of idols. I speak as to sensible people. Judge for yourselves what I say. The cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a sharing of the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a sharing of the body of Christ? Because there is one body, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. Oh, what a great text. Um, Again, time always limits me and I, I never pre-prepare actually anything to say around these passages. I just kind of go with whatever's in the lecture at the time and whatever kind of comes to mind to share. Um, I think there's so much here that it's kind of it's a bit of a tricky one to know where to start, to be honest, in the spur of the moments. Other than that, kind of the examination of ourselves, our lives and our conduct. How are we demonstrating? and reflecting the goodness and the glory of God to one another and to the watching world. What is our conduct? Is our conversation one of complaining about whatever it is? 
or is it one of a conversation that seeks to build up, to encourage and to edify the body of Christ? And I love the bit at the end that really is speaking around obviously the communion um, meal that we share together and that we have missed, you know, sharing together in the same space. And we look forward to a time when actually those things can resume. So yeah, I'd, I'd encourage you, go away and read this text, 1 Corinthians 10, 1 to 17, and just allow the Holy Spirit just to challenge, to inspire, to encourage you as you explore that. Um, I'm reading um, my, my way back through the, um, the New Testament again at the moment. I always try to do a, the whole Bible, obviously, however long it takes me to get through it, really. Um, so I'm going back to the beginning of the New Testament and trying to do, I suppose, what I call a slow read, a slow read of Matthew at the moment, and just not race through it for the sake of just getting through it, but just really allow actually just every verse and nuance to just kind of feed my soul, to challenge me, to inspire me. And I'm particularly trying to sort of, as I go through Matthew, you know, look at the life of Jesus and sort of say, what was his lifestyle? What was the pace of his life? What was the priorities of his life? You know, what did he make the most important thing? Uh, just as a way of hopefully shaping and influencing my own ministry and my own walk kind of in the coming months and obviously years as well. It's always good to review actually your own journey of faith. Um, so I'm really, I'm really enjoying kind of Matthew at the moment. Uh, I'm in the Beatitudes, um, which is challenging in and of itself. But anyway, anyway, enough of my rambling. So shall we pray? Father, thank you. Thank you that in the same way you went ahead of your people in Israel through the wilderness and you fed and you nourished them and you revealed yourself to them. Yet, Father, as a people, they turned their back on you in many ways. Help us to watch ourselves, our conduct, that, Lord, we might reveal and display your glory. Help us, O oh Lord, to be a people of peace, a people who seek after justice and righteousness in our different communities and places of influence. We're particularly mindful of the unrest actually around our world because of historical injustices that are even evident today because of the colour of somebody's skin. But it is never right. Will help us to be a people that speak out and transform unjust structures. We pray for our nation. Lord, as it seeks to resume different levels of normality in families, in commerce. Lord, help us to retain a balance of a community cohesion whose priority is not economic growth, but actually the building up and the flourishing of relationships and family units. And help us as a nation to keep our priorities in the right order. We pray for our governments. Lord, lead them, we pray, by your Spirit. We pray for our teachers. Father, who just must be exhausted. Strengthen and sustain them, we pray. We pray for the lonely and the isolated. And thank you for glimmers of hope of family units coming back together again. Father, be with each and every one who is so struggling at the moment. May they know your presence. We pray for the bereaved. 
be their rock, their comfort, the firm foundation we ask. Lord, thank you. We can bring all of these prayers unto you. Amen. And our Colette. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you that in this wonderful sacrament, you have given us the memorial of your passion. Grant us so to reverence the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may know within ourselves and show forth in our lives the fruits of your redemption. For you are alive and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And uh, praying in the traditional form of the uh, Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. So the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Just one quick bit of news uh, for those who are watching and those who knew Margaret too good. Uh, sadly, Margaret too good passed away the other day and so we obviously remember Margaret's family uh, at this very difficult time. And many of you will have known Margaret for many, many years. A wonderful, wonderful lady within our church family and our church community who touched and blessed many, many lives. Um, as and when we hear news about her funeral details, obviously we'll pass those things on. But uh, our prayers in particular are with Robert at this time. So have a good day, keep safe, keep in prayer and keep in contact with one another. Until next time, bless you and bye bye.